old maple dollars. Hat. Ugh. Anyway, moving on. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I promised you guys on Twitter that I would do a haul of the things I picked up while I was traveling because Alana and I got to shopping quite a bit. This isn't like an extensive haul, it's not like massive or anything, but I did get quite a few little things, so I thought it would be fun to share them with you guys, show you where I got them, slash the story behind them, and also, a lot of these things are from places like Topshop and H&M, so even though I was like in Europe when I purchased them, you could probably still find them online, or if I can find links to them, I'll leave them down below. So without further ado, let's jump in because I, I don't know, I'm excited to show you guys a little thing to check out. So shall we start with probably the most monumental thing I purchased while overseas. This good old trusty, and you will know exactly what it is if you're following me on Instagram, hat. This hat became quite the little staple in my wardrobe while in Europe. Um, I actually picked this up in Paris. I forget the name. It was like Lafayette. I think Lafayette, um, but that was like the little mall shopping area we went to and we walked around. There was this one section that was all thrift stuff, like all used and stuff like that. They had tags on them that said like used, thrift, whatever. This hat was there and I was like, oh my god, I need you in my life. It's just, it's, I needed, you know, you know, let me just, it was one of those things that like it fit perfectly to my head and I have a big head okay and it went with like every single outfit that I wore and I just like it's one of those things that I, I didn't know there was something missing in my life until I found it you're gonna see me in this hat a lot and now that I've officially shown it to you guys for this haul I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on for the rest of this video and then next if you guys have been following me for a while you'll also know one of my favorite mugs that I have I picked up in New York it's like that Starbucks mug that I use all the time and it's like all the buildings and stuff like that. So, guys, they had a Paris one. I think this is gonna become a thing where if they have this style in any city that I travel to, I'm just gonna go right ahead and pick it up. And this one's so cute. It's got like the little Eiffel Tower and the little Starbucks symbol and then the Metro sign. It's so cute. It's like it walked right into my life. I know I haven't showed you guys any clothes yet, but I figured since we're already talking about Paris, I'll just show you the last thing that I picked up while I was there. Um, so Elena and I, we kind of had this idea that while we were in Paris, we were like, you know what, I kind of want to splurge on like a nice bag. I've never done that before. I've never like put that money into something that's just like, you know, like a little gift to yourself. And so they actually had a Stella McCartney at the Lafayette Mall. And so Stella McCartney, if you guys don't know, it's like cruelty free, it's not real leather, but they're like designer bags. And so I decided to splurge just a tad and get myself a bag. And again, oh my God, this is one of those bags that I was looking through the bags and I was like, oh, okay, like maybe I'll go with this one and it had like a bird on it. And I was like, okay with the bird. But then she was like, oh wait, we have this other one too. And she pulls it out from the back and it's the only one there. And oh, can we just, what? The, uh, I swear to God, it's me in a bag. I just, this is so perfect. Kind of hurt when you saw it converted into Canadian dollars but it is so worth it because it has officially become my pride and joy. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna put this in this haul because I didn't want it to come across the wrong way, but I also just wanted to share the fact that there are designer vegan bags that you guys can invest in. So if you're ever looking to kind of splurge on yourself or just spend a little bit more money or like a graduation gift that you're asking for, anything like that, definitely check out the Stella McCartney bag. I love that it's cruelty free, it kind of change that like idea in the high fashion world and they also just like this design is just I can't I can't I love it so that was everything I got from Paris let's backtrack and go to all of the things that I got from Scotland which is pretty much everything else in this haul aside from one thing you know what let's do Amsterdam then I picked up one thing in Amsterdam Elena showed me this store she knew of called we are labels I believe it was called and when I walked in we were like scoping around and I saw this on the rack and I just grabbed it and I was like oh my lord this is the sweater here it needs to be ironed because I just pulled it out of the dryer, but it's this Levi sweater. The material is like a nice material for summer where it's not that thick fleece on the inside. It's a little bit more like, not scratchy, but just like, I'm really bad at explaining clothes, guys. It's cropped perfectly, so you could wear it with like high-waisted jeans or with leggings, and yeah, it just says Levi across the front. Pretty standard. <laughs> oh, 
The next thing I picked up in Scotland, um, we went to an H&M there, and I know that this is going to just be comical because of A, what I'm already wearing, and B, the fact that this is the last thing I need in my closet, but I grabbed this shirt from H&M. It's an ACDC shirt, pretty similar to the one that I'm wearing, but this one's got like a gray, distressed, like vintage style almost to it. There's a knot in the front from when I was wearing it. Um, T-shirt knot, not included. And the last thing I need in my closet, but one of my favorite things that I probably picked up, if I'm being honest with you guys. So if you guys watched my Edinburgh or my, I think it's titled, I Jumped a Flight to Europe. If you guys watched that vlog, you'll know that I also checked out a record place in Edinburgh and it was called Coda Music, I believe. It was just at the edge of Old Town. And when I went in, I was like flipping through all the records. It was such a cool little store and I actually found Daughter's record. Now, I don't know if you guys listen to Daughter. Um, I have her on a bunch of my playlists on Spotify, which I'll leave linked down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, she's definitely more rainy day vibes. I've been really working on increasing my record collection, and this was one of the ones that I wanted so badly on vinyl. It has all of my favorite songs from her, including one called Amsterdam. When I found it, I, I couldn't put it back down. It was a little expensive. It was 17 pounds, which converted to Canadian is over $30. I mean, I could have bought it off Amazon, but the story behind getting it in Edinburgh it just felt so much more right. Um, if you guys want, I can do a whole like record collection video. I feel like that would be kind of fun to show you guys like all of the records that I've been collecting and some of my favorite songs slash artists. Yeah, if you guys want that video, just comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw this on probably right after I finish filming this. So all the other clothes in this haul are from Topshop and I was looking for a black crop top to wear while I was there. I didn't actually end up wearing it, but it's one of those things that I knew I'm still gonna wear for summer, so I didn't return it. Um, it's this one here. I'm a little afraid of what it's gonna look like on because of the girls, but I guess we're gonna find out. I just feel like if it does end up working, this would be super cute with like maxi skirts and this hat. And the next thing that I picked up from Topshop were these shorts here. Uh, again, I'm, I just feel like everything I found on this trip spoke to my soul in such a way that it was like I, it needed to come home with me, you know? So these were the shorts that I picked up. They are like these high-waisted light wash jean shorts with these almost like orangey red floral designs. They have them on the one side and then along the back as well. Luckily, these are one of these things that I purchased and tried on right when I got back so I knew that they would fit and they are like, this is gonna be such a staple this summer. I can just feel it in my bones, you know? Next, I got asked a ton on my Instagram and in my vlogs where my sunglasses slash glasses were, and I actually picked up both pairs of these at Topshop in Glasgow. So this is the first one. Um, I got asked this on my one Instagram where I'm like, I'm holding on to a coffee. Possibly not with this outfit. Actually, you know what? This might work. So these are the first pair. They're kind of that tortoise shell outlining. I feel like it's also one of those pairs of glasses where if I pulled up in a creepy van, I would tell you that I have candy and try and invite the children in. I might actually see if there's any chance that I can pop out these lenses and replace them with my actual prescription so I can wear these and actually see better. But in the meantime, they're, they're fake and uh, I'm just gonna keep rocking them anyway because I absolutely love them, especially the days that I don't have makeup on. I just throw these on and I'm like, like, ha, 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 you can't tell that my eyes are naked. So those are the first pair that I picked up and then the second ones I wore these when we climbed Arthur's seat and again on my Instagram so many of you guys asked me where I purchased them so they're from Topshop and this is what they look like I feel like I feel like Lady Gaga with them on which is you want to know it's so funny I got I got like twice over that trip people were like are you Lady Gaga and I was like I don't think I look anything like Lady Gaga. I mean, I wish I had her bank account. You know what, maybe I am Lady Gaga. Maybe you were born this way. Next, I picked up this crop top here. This is one of those ones that I was like, kind of debating whether or not I wanted to buy it. But then Jamie Genevieve was like, no girl, you have to get it. I can't do her accent, but I love her. And she was like, you need to get it, you need to get it. And so I was like, okay, fine. Let me just continue to spend my maple dollars. So this is the top here, it's cropped. Hopefully, I can't really see in the viewfinder right now, but hopefully you guys can see the like floral. It's just completely punched out black. So it adds a little something than it just being like a plain black crop tee. And as I mentioned, anything with floral on it lately, I, I just, it just, it's completely justified. The floral justifies my need to purchase it, continue to bully my bank account. And then next I picked up this romper, which was also on my Instagram. 
Um, I wore it when I was in Amsterdam, but I picked it up in Scotland. It's just this little tie-dye romper here. See, it's just every time I every time I hold any outfit up with this hat, I'm just like, yes, it makes so much sense. Again, super cute for summer, a little bit low cut, but you can tighten it at the top where the string is, and it like cinches it up so that you don't have to have it too low cut. Cut out shoulders and really like pretty like baggy sleeves. And then last but not least, this is also something I got asked a ton in my Edinburgh vlog and it was where I got this sweater so I actually purchased this at the top shop too and someone was like I've been looking for a Sam and Adidas sweater everywhere but they only have it in guys well let me tell ya I don't know if it's like at all the top shops but the top shop in Glasgow had it in girls so I would definitely check online and again if I can find the link I'll leave it down below but I picked up this salmon colored Adidas hoodie which it's just life. It's so comfortable. I have tied to go all over the back of it because I got tanner on it. So, I mean, pray pray for the Adidas sweater because let's just please let the tanner come out. That is the last and final thing that I picked up. And a really, really good purchase if you ask me because, you know, it's not like I don't already have three Adidas sweaters. So that concludes everything that I picked up while shopping on my trip. I hope you guys enjoyed and that it fulfilled your need to know what I was spending all my money on overseas. Let me know what your favorite item was down below slash if you guys want me to do that record collection video. And yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the vlogs from me traveling, I will link them down below or pop them on the screen somewhere throughout this video. And other than that, I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>